Hello my friends, today you will see this new video tutorial. If Malik is here to help you guys get back to Windows 10 if you're not happy with Windows 11, or if your computer is lagging or slow and doesn't work well after the update, and therefore you want to go back to Windows 10. So, this is the first method for those who upgraded from 10 to 11 without data loss and less than 10 days have passed since the upgrade. But if you bought a computer with Windows 11, or more than 10 days have passed since updating Windows 10 to Windows 11, you need to skip the first part of the video and go directly to the second part. Method number one. Click, start. Then, settings. In this window, scroll down, find and select the tab, recovery. Here we see a tab. Go back, open it. Microsoft offers us to choose one of these reasons why we decided to abandon Windows 11, and if you don't see a suitable reason for you in the list, write your opinion so that this next button becomes active for you. Here I will write, no. And now I can click, next. At this step, we are offered to update the system, perhaps I will refuse. No, thanks. Here we see a standard warning that you need to be aware of. Do not interrupt the process of returning to Windows 10, do not turn off your computer, your data should remain unchanged, but just in case, create a backup copy of your personal files on another disk or USB flash drive. Next. If you disabled the login password request in Windows 11, now you need to remember your password and PIN code, otherwise after returning to Windows 10 you will not be able to get into Windows. Next. And there's one last step left, and if you're not ready for it, click, cancel. But if you want to do so, click, go back to Windows 10, and the computer will restart. The process of returning to Windows 10 does not take long. If you pay attention to the time at the beginning of the video and the time after the process is completed, you will see that on my computer the return to Windows 10 lasted about 10 minutes. Maybe it will be a little faster or slower for you, but still much faster than the Windows 10 to Windows 11 upgrade process. And so, the login lock screen opened, I enter my PIN code and now we see the successful completion of the process. I hope everything goes well for you too. If you go back to the beginning of the video, you can make sure that all the shortcuts of different applications, just like in Windows 11, remained on the taskbar unchanged. There are folders with photos and videos on my desktop, I open them to make sure the process completes successfully without losing my personal data. Now we will see what happens if more than 10 days have passed since updating Windows 10 to Windows 11. We click, start. Then, settings. Recovery. And here we see that the go back option no longer works, I try to click the go back button, but now it is grayed out. The only thing we can do now is to go back to a brand new Windows 10 and in this process we will not be able to save our personal files. Now let's return to the system section. And open the activation tab. Here we see that this Windows 11 is activated with a digital license associated with a Microsoft account. Which means that if you return to a new Windows 10, activation will occur automatically. The license will also be saved if you did not upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 but installed Windows 11 yourself or bought a computer or laptop with Windows 11 pre-installed. First you need to save the personal files that you don't want to lose, and now you need to back them up. If your computer has another drive besides drive C, before starting the process, you can transfer the necessary files to another drive or to a USB drive. And so, if you missed more than 10 days after updating Windows 10 to Windows 11, if you yourself installed Windows 11 on your computer, if you bought a computer or laptop with Windows 11 pre-installed and now want to return to Windows 10, then the second part of my the video will be a good guide for you. Method number 2. Now we need to go to the Microsoft website and download the tool to upgrade to Windows 10. Open your browser, and in the search right, download Windows 10. Click, here. And this will open the app's download page. Or open the description of this video. And click the direct link to the Windows 10 download page. Click, download now.
and the update tool will download. Close the browser and open the folder, Explorer, Download. Right-click on the application icon, and select, Run as Administrator. And the update tool will launch. Here you need to accept the terms of the license. In this window, we can choose several options for downloading Windows 10, we chose to update our computer, we do not need to create a bootable USB flash drive or download the Windows 10 ISO file, next. Here again, you need to accept the terms of the license, accept. In this window, if the first two buttons are active, you can choose to save personal files and applications that you yourself installed on your computer. You can then choose to keep your personal files during the update process, and the last option shows that the update will completely remove all personal files and applications you have installed. In this case, before starting the upgrade process, you need to transfer all the necessary files from drive C to another drive or partition in order to keep them safe there. You can skip the process and click back, but to switch to Windows 10, click, Next. We confirm our actions, and click, Yes. All files for updating to Windows 10 have been downloaded. You can go back and change the settings. If you're ready to continue, click, Install. The whole process will take quite some time, and if you are upgrading a laptop, connect the laptop with a cable to a power source, and click, Install. For a while you don't have to do anything, you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. During the process, the computer will automatically restart several times. The Windows logo has changed, Instead of the Windows 11 square, we now see the Windows 10 logo. Please do not turn off your computer. All Windows 10 files have been installed and now we need to make a few settings. Choose your region. Now choose your keyboard layout. Yes. Skip. Here I choose for home use. Next. In this window, you must enter your Microsoft account information, or create a new account. I will create a local account. Now the account name, I like this name. Bond. James Bond. Next. Here you need to create a password. But I'll do it later. Next. I disable all these settings so my computer will run faster. Accept. Windows 10 welcomes us. There is little left. Yes. I managed. Hope everything went well for you too. Now I will open the settings, and look at the data about my Windows 10. Yes, now I have the latest version of Windows 10 Pro on my computer. I open, Settings. Then, Accounts. And here we see that my PC is managed by local account administrator, and her name is Bond. James, Bond. To sign into a Microsoft account, or create a Microsoft account, click, here. Now you need to check the activation. The activation was successful and the license for my Windows 10 was saved. This is where I end the video. If you have any questions and suggestions, leave them below and share this useful video with your friends, like the video and please subscribe to my channel. Your likes and comments motivate me to create such videos, do not forget to press the call button to receive notifications of new videos about Windows 10 and Windows 11. Good luck!